So the next exercise is about bringing the ball a lot closer to the wall, having softer touches. So it's working more on ball manipulation. So we're having more touch, touches more often. And the idea is to get into a nice rhythm, to use different parts of the foot. The more of a rhythm we can get into, uh, the more confidence and the more flow that we're going to get into. And it's going to help us improve our skills and it's going to help us get in touch with more of our ability. So you might have a few passes that don't go as well. That's okay. As long as you've got more passes that go well, then that practice session has been worthwhile. You, you are walking away a better player. Make sense? So I'm going to start off with inside of the foot. Stop it. Toe poke. Stop it. Outside of the foot. Stop it. Then I'm going to go the same way. Inside of the foot with my right foot, toe poke, I'm going to stop it each time, outside of the foot. Now it comes over to my left foot. Inside, stop it, toe poke, stop it, outside, stop it. Okay? When you've done that a few times and you got into a nice rhythm, then you can do it without stopping. So it's inside of the foot, toe poke, outside. Don't make it hard by hitting it too hard too early. Got the idea? And as you get into a nice rhythm, because rhythm is really important when you're practicing and playing. Rhythm is so important in building your confidence, in feeling good, and then all sorts of abilities start to come out when you, when you get into a rhythm. Have a go at that. Good, and Ash, you can come in now. Off you go.